good afternoon ladies and gentlemen uh, today i would like to discuss something about refractive errors first of all would like to talk about what is a refractive error if a person cannot see clearly without glasses but can see clearly with glasses he has a refractive error by refractive error we mean that patient has some deficiency by virtue of which he is not clear for his distance near or intermediate vision and once we correct that with glasses or artificial glasses on top he starts seeing clearly refractive errors are of different types and first of all most prevalent is myopia by myopic we mean patient is short sighted he is he can see clearly for near work but for distance he has unclear vision or he is not able to see things in the far very clearly in hypermetropia usually patients have deficient vision in both distance as well as near and third is astigmatism by astigmatism we mean the axis there are basically the eye is not globular or the cornea is not globular one axis is bigger than the other one and you need to compensate the other one with a small little number and it's a astigmatic number and the fourth thing is presbyopia by presbyopia we mean patient has started deficient vision or little less vision for near work after the age of 40 so various things are required and all of these can be rectified the symptoms of refractive error basically is unclear vision and to diagnose refractive error one should if one feels that he has unclear vision he should visit visit his ophthalmologist to basically get a vision check done and check whether he has a refractive error or not all refractive errors usually can be rectified with proper glasses and at a proper time children often present with myopic errors and they do not complain they do not come to know about this refractive errors till they go to school or teachers come back and inform their parents that he cannot copy down from the board so do a proper examination is a must in myopic patients the image that is formed is focused in front of the retina instead of focusing on to the retina which is the seen portion of the eye and for that reason we have to give them minus glasses by virtue of which the image shifts from in front to the back or on to the retina and patient start seeing clearly in hypermetropia either the eyeball is small and for that reason they require plus numbers so that basically they start seeing clear in astigmatism it can be minus or plus in one axis the other axis usually is normal and they do not require glasses or a patient is myopic with astigmatism or hypermetropic with astigmatism so there are different kind of combinations and the last of all is the presbyopia which is a normal aging process for all of us and by the time you grow to 40 you would all require near vision glasses if you are trying to stretch your arm to read it clearly indicates that you require a small little number the numbers usually start by about 0.5 diopters and they increase to 2.5 to 3 diopters by the time you grow to 60 years of age from 40 it's not a hard and fixed rule that everybody would start at 40 somebody may start at 42 somebody may start at 45 it's a individual variation but everybody would require glasses for near work after the age of 40 and usually the numbers increased to 2.5 to 3 diopters by the time you grow to 60 65 years of age unless you have a myopic number or some other numbers usually this is the criteria that they would start at 40 45 basically all refractive errors can be taken care of with the help of proper examination and glasses to get rid of refractive errors there are various methods as i said first of all simple method is getting artificial glasses second is by the time a child is 17 18 years of age numbers are stable the growth is stable you could even think of getting a refractive error corrected by a laser technology which which have different techniques today in very sophisticated very competent and absolutely pain free which would take not more than 
two to five seven minutes, and the patient is get, gets rid of the glasses with the LASIK or laser procedures like smile, which are very very advanced kind of procedures. Healthy diet for the children with lots of vitamin A and other in, uh, natural substances like green leafy vegetables do help in the growth of the child and definitely would help in their check of the numbers. Thank you. अगर आपको लगता है इस वीडियो से किसी का फायदा हो सकता है तो शेयर जरूर करें और यह वीडियो ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक पहुंचाएं और लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें